What's up, Domino community? I'm Lily Havish, and today I'll be teaching you how to build the tape hinge trick. So get your dominoes and let's start building. So the tape hinge trick, also known as the tape trick or the zipper technique, dates all the way back to 2008. I believe it was first seen by Domino Day Freak on YouTube, and it's a super useful trick. The tape hinge trick allows you to switch a direction 180 degrees. So you have a domino line going one way, tape hinge goes, and then it goes in the opposite direction. And I've used the tape hinge technique so many times in this new personal record domino setup that I'm currently working on. It's probably one of the most important like specialty tricks, I guess, in, at least in my opinion, because it's just so useful in many scenarios when you don't want a domino line to curve. There's maybe no space or you just want a really fast switch rather than having a line go all the way through. It's super simple. The trick uses just two dominoes and you'll need some tape. That's all you need. Let's start building. So I'm gonna start out by just making a simple domino line. Now, again, the dominoes should be about one centimeter to one domino thickness apart. And let's say this blue line is my starting line. So it's gonna topple in this direction. Now I want it to go back in the opposite direction. Now to do this, I'm gonna take two dominoes and kind of overlap them by another domino thickness in between. It's about a quarter of an inch or one, one domino thickness. That's how much it's going to be connected to the other domino. Now there's two different ways that you can tape the tape hinge trick. So you're gonna get your tape and you're gonna cut a piece that's about one quarter of an inch thick. So it's really not that much tape, just a little tiny piece. And if we want it to fall in this direction, if we put it flat, we can connect the two using the piece of tape. You can either connect it with the dominoes flat, like this, or if you take another piece, same size, you could put it on the short edge down here. When you're taping it, just make sure that you're taping it on the right side. You don't wanna tape it on the top side cause then you're gonna flip it over and it would be in the opposite direction. So what I kinda like to do is I theoretically place my tape hinge trick and then I take it, I flip it and then I put it on the bottom to connect them. So this piece would go right here to connect them. Now make sure that this is really secure. We don't want the tape coming off, so really press it down. And either method works. I personally have been using this technique more than the other technique, but I know both of them work. Do some tests, make sure it works with your dominoes and you can choose the one that works best for you. All right, so now that you have your tape hinge trick, you can just place it after the last domino. So if it's falling in this direction, we want to put a little bit of gap in between because if we put this trick, for example, right here where this red domino is touching this blue domino, there's a chance that when this line falls this way, it could hit this other domino in the same direction, but we want it to topple in the opposite direction. So we don't want them to interfere. To do this, we're just going to put a little gap here. And then another trick, take another piece of tape. It doesn't need to be a, a big piece, maybe like an inch. And we're going to tape this hinge down to the floor so that way it won't slide out. If this domino line is coming in with a lot of speed, there's a chance that it could topple the whole thing over in this direction. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tape down this tape hinge by putting the piece of tape about halfway on the domino that you want to go in the opposite direction and then tape it down to the floor. Sometimes it helps to pre like crease it. So I just put my finger here and then it kind of makes it easier to put down. And then you, you just put it like, like this. So you want to place it so that there's still a gap in between the starting line and this red domino. That's basically it. Now you can continue the domino line and I'm gonna add this other one as well. So this is what it looks like. Now you can play around with the spacing. It's not like super crucial that there's a specific amount of space in between the hinge and the lines as long as there's a gap in between the directions of the lines. So that's it. Let's see if it works. Three, two, one, go. So how does this work? If we play it back in slow motion, we'll see that the starting tape hinge domino forces the domino going in the opposite direction to topple because they're just connected by tape and there's no room for that other domino to go then 
to go in that direction. It's a super simple trick and I, I use this so much in my domino setups. It's a great way as well to get a domino line to go up to a higher elevation. Instead of having a domino line go at it and go back in the opposite direction, what you can do instead, you put it together like this, then you tape it to it like that, then you still get the tape hinge effect except now they're along the same line. So say we want this domino line to go from the ground up onto this new surface. What we do, we have our new tape hinge. We're gonna get some string and we're gonna tape one end to the inside of the domino that's going to fall in that direction. Okay. So this is where you would tape it. I wouldn't recommend putting the string all the way down here because then it'll open up this gap a little bit too wide. So once we have this taped, we're going to tape this whole tape hinge down to the elevated surface because that's the direction that it will be toppling in. We'll just put it right here on the edge. So now if I pull the string, see how this blue domino goes in the right direction? Now what you can do, take the other end of the string and you want to measure the distance and make sure that there's enough slack that it's not going to accidentally topple early, but also that there isn't too much slack that when a domino falls to knock it down, it's just not going to pull it because there's, there's too much string. So play around with the length of the string. Definitely, definitely do some tests before you actually put this in your setup to make sure it works. A trick that you can also do is tape two dominoes together, or you could use um, like a field starter or a larger domino, and then connect that to the string. Now by having a taller domino, you're gonna have a much larger rotation when it falls, which means more of the string is going to be pulled, which then will increase your chance of this domino actually falling over. You can also tape down this domino in a one-way tape hinge, and I recommend putting this domino in the opposite direction that the tape hinge is going. So if the line is going like this on top, I want the line on the bottom to go in this direction. And that's just gonna give it way more leverage when it topples. All right, now measure the string really carefully. Do some tests, let's see. I want there to be just a little bit of slack. See, at, at this point where it's like 45 degrees, we start seeing this move. That's usually a good point to tape the string. I'm going to mark this and cut it right here. And now we can tape the string on the opposite side. I recommend putting the tape on the opposite side right here. Otherwise it could just like rip off the tape. Okay, wonderful. So now once you have that, it's really simple. You just add the domino line and there we have it. Let's see if this works. Three, two, one, go. Perfect, that was really fast. I definitely recommend trying this out if you haven't yet. There's so much that can be done with the tape hinge trick. I use this trick a lot in my personal record as well as the domino video that I did in a hotel suite where it went on so many different levels and surfaces. Try it out, let me know how it goes. You can always share your projects with me using the hashtag H5 Domino Community. I hope this tutorial helped you. I'm going to be starting a brand new series very soon where I go through how to build dominoes from the very basic stuff to the more complex stuff like structures and I'm so excited. This is the new set. What do you think of the new the new background? I don't know, it just looks so professional. If you have any suggestions on tutorials or specific tricks you want me to build and teach you how to make, I'm going to leave a link in the description at hevish5.com slash get involved where you can submit a request for a tutorial and I'll be making a bunch of them throughout the next whoever knows long like this could be an indefinite series where I just keep making tutorials so stay tuned for that I want to give a shout out to our featured community member which is Stefan Top. Stefan Top has been making incredible domino projects recently. I'm blown away by his innovative structures and his, his color combinations and just the sheer size of his setups. It's so good. I highly recommend checking out his channel. Link is in the description as well. As always, I'm Lily Hevish and keep on building.